Before there was Columbo, there was Dragnet. The 1949 radio version, well, let me explain how it came about. Jack Webb was a busy fellow. He was doing Pat Novak for Hire and appearing in movies. On a 1948 film set, Jack starts talking to a police technical film advisor by the name of Marty Wynn. Wynn and Webb started to have conversations, and Officer Wynn made suggestions about his desires for a non-sensational version of what the Los Angeles Police Department does on duty. The Los Angeles Police Department is also known as LAPD. Webb took the conversations to heart, started hanging out at the police station, going on night rides with officers, and got in way deep by taking classes at the police academy. He wanted to learn the officer lingo. Eventually, the show was pitched to NBC Radio, and a limited series was ordered. The LAPD had a great deal of influence on the show. Police officers could not be shown in a bad light. Scripts were often pre-screened by the department. And the department actually offered up ideas that could be made into television episodes. Historically, the LAPD has not exactly been squeaky clean. There were concerns about the lack of ethical behavior of certain officers on the force. There were also connections to movie studios that might have used their services for extracting a celebrity from trouble or accept money for a non-visual observation of an actor's misbehavior. And Jim Crow was very welcomed at the LAPD. There were unrecorded and recorded interactions concerning African American, Latino, and the Asian communities, involuntary involvement with LAPD. It took time. They had to do a bit of tinkering, but the radio show was a hit. In 1951, the television version of Dragnet aired on NBC television. So Jack is doing the radio version and he's doing the television version. The radio show lasted until 1957. The television show ran from 1951 to 1959. And as, as Jack's habit, he ended the show. He wanted to concentrate on other media projects. This isn't the last of Dragnet.